equation B, we're going to work as a Bernoulli ODE. For a Bernoulli ODE, you want your uh, derivative term by itself. And so we're going to start by dividing by 2. You want the left side of the equation to look like it's linear. So you have your derivative term minus, here we have 1 half times y, you have your y term, and then on the right side of the equation you can have a function of x times y raised to some power. For a Bernoulli ODE you can make a substitution where v, or whatever letter you want to, to choose, is equal to y raised to the 1 minus whatever this power of y is on the right side. In this case we get v equals y to the 1 minus 3 power or v equals y to the negative second power. And then if I take this equation and solve it for y, that tells me that y is v to the negative one-half power. So wherever I see y, I'm going to replace it with v to the negative one-half power. And then for my derivative, I'm going to get y prime equals negative one-half v to the negative three-halves v prime and I'll go ahead and substitute into my original ODE. So my y prime becomes negative one-half v to the negative three-halves v prime, and then I get minus one-half times y. y is v to the negative one-half equals one half. On the right side I have y to the third and y is v to the negative one half. So I have v to the negative one half raised to the third power. Now when you make that substitution it changes the equation into one that's linear. So you want to isolate that derivative term and to isolate the derivative term we're going to multiply each term in this equation by the coefficient of v prime. We're going to multiply by the, actually by the reciprocal of that. We're going to multiply by negative 2 v to the 3 halves. That'll cancel out the negative 1 half and cancel out the v to the 3 halves, negative 3 halves, and it'll leave us on the left side, side of the equation, on this first term, it'll leave, with, leave us with just v prime. On the second term, the negative one-half and the negative two will cancel to give us a plus. v to the negative one-half times v to the three-halves gives you v. Here on the right side, one-half times negative two gives you a negative. This is v to the negative three-halves, oh nice, times v to the three-halves cancels that out, so we're left with negative one on the right side. Now our equation is linear, and we can introduce an integrating factor. Our integrating factor is going to be i is equal to e to the integral of the coefficient of v, that's one, integrate with respect to x, so we get e to the x is the integrating factor. I'll multiply through by e to the x, e to the x v prime plus e to the x v equals negative e to the x, and on the left side of the equation I'll combine these two terms into a single term, 
derivative with respect to x e to the xv equals negative e to the x and to undo that derivative you want to integrate with respect to x integrate on both sides on the left side you get e to the x v on the right side we get negative e to the x plus c and then to solve for v we'll multiply through by e to the negative x that'll give us v equals negative 1 plus c e to the negative x and then we'll get back in terms of y bring that up here uh, v is equal to y to the negative second so I get y to the negative second is equal to negative 1 plus c e to the negative x huh. now uh, here I'm going to solve for y I'm going to take the reciprocal first and that'll give me the reciprocal of the right side it'll bring these terms down to the denominator let me bring that c term first and then to solve for y we actually get two solutions and if we get two solutions we probably don't wanna we don't wanna go that way so let's leave it as y squared is equal to 1 over c e to the negative x minus 1.